everybody welcome back we are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring this one is a specialty for my niece Ashley if you're watching this this is for you if it turns out well I've got quite the mashup going on here actually I'm gonna finish top it off so I've got a mashup of all sorts of colors going on with this one. She asked for, I think it's been a while now, but I had this idea after she said what she said. I believe she asked for a night sky or something like that. <laughs> I think. Actually, let me go look it up. <laughs> I knew I had this reason, this idea for a reason. She said she liked the galaxy vibes. She also liked the necklace that has the oval ornateness to it. So if I get a good skin out of this, I'm going to give her that style of necklace to go with it. But we're doing an oval canvas. This is a 16 by 20. And she likes glitter and shiny um, she was probably a crow in a past life, <laughs> but she, she loves metallic-y, shiny stuff. So, the mix of colors that I have are Amsterdam Oxide Black. That's the main color for the galaxy part. I might have too much color in here, so we'll have to see how this turns out. Then I have Neon Green neon yellow neon purple and neon orange all of the neons are artist loft i have amsterdam phthalo green i have amsterdam quinacridon rose so I'm, I'm trying to remember what red this is i it's this red i think it's um amsterdam Carmine, but I'm not positive. I think that's what it is, though. I was using up some colors. Then I have Amsterdam Gold. It might be Gold Light, but Gold. Amsterdam Metallic Silver, and then Arteza Copper Gold, which is a more of a reddish copper. And... I think that's all the colors that I put in it. And then if it turns out like I hope it does, the plan, sorry, whoops, just knocked you all. There were flecks of paint on there. Um, if it turns out like I hope, then the final touch is going to be taking some titanium white and tapping the brush and kind of sprinkling it out to be the bright bright stars we shall see but i'm doing this as a flip cup so i have a great big cup done i'm going to go ahead and make sure the canvas is clean i'm going to go ahead and flip it over i'm going to let that set for a minute let the black work its way through all the colors all right Let's see what we've got here. That looks cool without me doing anything. That looks cool without me doing anything. It's, I thought it would be more black, but like I said, I probably had way too much color in there. Let's pop some bubbles.
Let's get to tilting. Just checking to make sure it's still in frame for you all. All the sides are covered. I think I like that. And I think we're going to get a little bit more color pop up over here. So let me clean up. Let's pop the bubbles. I'm going to stretch it this way just a little bit because it's pulling off the canvas and part of that's because I overstretched that side. Okay. Okay, I think I've popped as many of the bubbles as I can. I'm still going to do the speckling of white. I think I'll concentrate it up in this area though. And it's kind of speckled down through here, but kind of it's looks like it's faded into that half. So I'm going to let this dry and see what the end results are. I might have ruined it by trying to do the night sky when it wasn't mostly black. But we shall see. The only way to find out is to experiment. So... <laughs> If I end up liking this, I will show you the dry picture here. Thank you all for joining me on this one. 
I'll see you on the next one. Bye.